Um, ladies and gents, I uh, hope you're well. So today we're going to be looking at uh, numerical analysis. Okay, um, we're going to be uh, finding roots of polynomials. using the bisection method. Right, cool. Uh, so on a side note, guys, um, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. So if you do like what you see, please do subscribe. Um, i will greatly appreciate that. Okay, cool, so let's get started. So with, and then student, and uh, numerical analysis, okay. Right, so I've got functions, so f is my first function, so x cubed, right, plus x squared, minus 2x, and uh, minus 2, so that's my first one, and then my g will be um, x squared, minus 2x, minus 2, okay, so those are my functions, right, so um, since we're going to be using the bisection method, so bisection, so f, my function, and my initial points, we will take the values of minus 2.5 to 2. And um, our tolerance is uh, of go 1 over 100. Okay. Right. So these are the initial points. Okay. This is the error, of, uh, error, error tolerance of, of uh, approximation. Okay, so there we are, a bit closer. Uh, if I type in solve, so f for x. So we got three roots there since it's a three degree polynomial. And um, so this is like getting closer to square root two. So if I type in um, evolve uh, square root two. Okay, so that's the actual root. So by changing the tolerance, so come on, copy, I'll show you something. By changing the tolerance, we get closer to the root. So if I type in a thousand, one of a thousand, yeah, we get in there. Change it again. Almost there. Hmm, there are, yeah, thereabouts. So here, yeah. so changing the tolerance uh, gets you closer to the actual root. Okay. Okay, so you might have to do a few more iterations and stuff here to get to the approximate uh, root. Okay, um, so now I'll um, work on the second uh, the second uh, polynomial, so bisection. So bisection, and then x uh, initial points will be uh, minus 2 to 2, and then tolerance uh, is equal to... 1 over, um, I'll call 4,000 this time. Okay, so solve g for x. Right, so evolve. And then g, oh sorry, uh, 1 minus square root 2, square root 3, sorry. So that's the actual root. So copying that again, come on, copy. And then paste that. Okay. See, so like I said earlier on, so if you change the tolerance, you get closer and closer to the to the to the actual root. So it actually converges. So that's the advantage of the bisection method because convergence is guaranteed. Okay. Right. So if I Use the roots method, so roots, uh, so f and then x equals to um, minus 2 and 2, and then the method is equal to bisection. And my tolerance is equal to 1 over uh, 1,000, then my output is equal to information. So that's, uh, that gives us the table, okay? 
So that's uh, the number of iterations that you've got to do, you know. Um, so there's going to be 11 of them, you know. And then, um, so A, this is my A there, this is my B, okay. So these are the initial points, and then this is the midpoint, you know. Then that midpoint is put into to the function, and then you get minus 2 and so forth, okay. So we'll have to do about 11 iterations to actually get closer to the actual root. Okay. So yeah, so um, if you guys find this helpful, uh, please uh, do subscribe and um, I'll crack on. I'll create another video as well. Okay, so thanks guys for watching and uh, have a lovely day. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.